everyone. It's me, Pluto. It's Monday fun day and my thinking box is totally pinballing with excitement. And just in case you were wondering, for sure my eyes are here. They're just hiding under my smushed face. <laughs> so, so the first excitement that's here is the full howling moon tonight. So, so when that moon hits the sky like a big pizza pie tonight, it's called the Harvest Moon. If you saw my story last night, me and Mum we already did a warm up with that moon when it was at 98% fullness. But tonight it's going to be 100% full. So, so it's going to keep shining brightly all the way to Wednesday, September 2nd, which is the first official day of fall in the Northern Hemmer. In the Southern Hemmer, those people, those people are going to have spring in that land. So, so did you even know that the full moon, the closest to the fall equinocker, it's always called the harvest moon. Last year, that last year the harvest moon was on October the 1st, but this year it's the September moon that gets the harvest name. Back in the olden time ago, that was, that was the full moon that gave the farmers enough bright light to work late in their fields and finish their harvest before Jack Frost came to town. Oh, the, the Ojibwe, they call this moon the falling leaves moon, and the Cree in the Ontario lands, they call it the rutting moon. The, the rutting, that's romantic time when the deer and the mooses have their ziggy doos. <laughs> oh, oh, Harvest Moon, it's also the name of a favorite album of moms by the Canada lands legend, Neil Young. You should totally turn on the YouTubers or the spotting fly and play that song for yourself. There's some pretty great harmonica on that song and it will for sure have you toe tapping your way into Tuesday. Okay, okay, back to the autumn equinocker. This special day, it's when the sun is exactly above the equator and the day and the night are totally equal. And, and, and it also means all the fun celebrations for fall are coming, like, le like, like leaf peeping and Halloween. But for sure up here in the north parts, what the fall equinocker really means is it's start of pumpkin season. <laughs> oh my gourd. It's ridiculous all the pumpkin flavored things that you two-leggeds come up with at this time of year. I mean, pumpkin Twinkies, pumpkin spice Pringles, pumpkin chicken sausage. You're gourd to be kidding me. <laughs> I mean, beauty is in the pie of the beholder, I guess. Actually, that pumpkin pie is sugar and spice and everything nice. So that tasty treat can totally stay. Okay, everyone, life is good. <laughs> Have a pun day Monday and get your howls on tonight. Arr, arr, arr.